forward on this. Okay. According to an article published by the Baltimore Sun, written by Amy Nathan on May 20th of 2018, 85% of adults who didn't learn an instrument in their youth wish they did today. As we age, we won't be able to do everything we once could. Doing active things just won't be as easy, but just because our bodies slow down doesn't mean we can't stay entertained. A, a healthy way to keep hand-eye coordination up to par and to bring beautiful music to your home is by playing the acoustic guitar. The guitar is easy to learn, but hard to master. So it can be a great lifelong hobby. In two years, I've taught myself how to play many popular songs on the guitar. I will begin by teaching you the, cor the correct mindset to have when learning, uh, when learning to play a steel string acoustic guitar. Then I will show you how to correctly play very simple chords. Finally, I will show you how to learn popular songs by yourself. So first, you must have the correct mindset. According to an article published by, fr by Fratello.com written by Florian Lettner on January 22nd, 2018, one of the most important things when learning the guitar has nothing to do with your fingers. It has to do with your mind. First, you have to learn the guitar. Uh, to learn the guitar, you must first have a lot of patience. There are several things that go into playing the acoustic guitar. You will need patience, or you will need to practice often so that the tips of your fingers grow calluses. It will be hard to have a good, clear sound until your fingers are all calloused. GuitarAficionado.com, a website all about guitar published, a website all about playing guitar, published an article on December 23rd of 2020. It says, while playing the guitar can be painful, you shouldn't give up or expect this pain to last. You should also not compare yourself to others. Remember, any guitar player that you've seen playing lately, whether on the radio or online, or playing live, has most likely been playing been playing for several years. So comparing yourself to others only brings you down. Focus on becoming a better version of yourself each day. And finally, you need to, st need to stay positive. You can't give in to all the self-doubt. Even if it takes you three weeks to learn a new song, that's fine. When you don't feel like you're improving, feeling bad about it just doesn't help. Okay, now that I've established the mindset you need when learning the guitar, I will discuss how to play very simple chords, which are the essential building blocks to learning songs. When wanting to learn the guitar, one of the biggest challenges can be understanding music theory. Music theory can be very complicated and take years of practice and studying to fully comprehend. Chords, however, are pretty simple. According to Earmaster.com, chords are the layering of several tones played simultaneously. So by, playing your by putting your fingers down on individual strings of the guitar on different places, you have multiple tones played simultaneously, therefore resulting in a chord. In Western music, we have decided what notes or tones sound good together, so we already have guidelines to what makes a good sounding chord. Finally, of the most common, or one of the most common chord progressions is the one, five, six, four. And a series of chord, a chord progression is just a series of chords that repeat. On a guitar, this is C major, G major, A minor, and F major. Transferring from chord to chord is often very challenging. This will take the average player weeks or even months to master because it requires very good muscle memory and hand-eye coordination. I will quickly demonstrate how to play these chords. Okay, so for the C string, um, I'll just have all the strings like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So for the C string, uh, you only play the bottom five strings. You take the fifth, uh, fifth string, or second string, third fret, third string, second fret with your middle finger, and then skip a string, and then the fifth string, second fret, and you can see, uh, you can see my little diagram up here. This is what it looks like. It's kind of easier to see than just look at my fingers. And this is what a C chord sounds like. Sounds pretty beautiful. Okay, now we've got uh, the G chord. So the G chord is the first chord I ever learned. Uh, you take your first string, third fret with your middle finger, second, or yep, second string, second fret with your index or pointer finger. And then you skip the rest of the strings and go to the last string and put your pinky finger on the third fret. And this is what a G major chord sounds like. Okay, now we have uh, A minor. 
So you play, that's another chord where you only play the bottom five strings, and fifth string's open, or pardon me, so second string is open, third string, uh, second fret played by your middle finger, uh, fourth string, fourth string, index finger, second fret, and then fifth string, pointer finger, second fret. And this is what an A minor sounds like. Pretty cool. Now we've got an E minor chord, which is super easy. It's just two fingers. Uh, second, uh, you go to the second string, second fret, and third string, second fret. Anybody, do anybody's dog could play this. This is what it sounds like. Cool. And finally, this is the hardest chord I'll show. It's a lot easier if you have a little thing around your body so you can hold the guitar and not try and play at the same time. But you actually have to bar the first fret, which is where you play all the strings with one finger, and that's really tough. That takes a long time to learn, so I'm not 100% perfect at it, but over the years I've got better at it. So this is, you bar the first string, second string, uh, and what is this, ring finger, third fret, next, pinky finger, third string, third fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, and this is what an F major sounds like. Not bad on that, honestly. Okay, now, uh, moving on, those are what, that's what C, G, A minor, and F sounds like. Okay, so as I was saying, the F chord's really hard to play, so if you don't, if you don't learn that right away, it's fine. That takes, that just takes calluses on the inside of your finger, which that just takes forever. Okay, now I've identified four simple chords, we will discuss how to learn songs. So the final section of this demonstrative speech, like I just said, will be showing you how to learn your own songs, or popular songs. So luckily it's super easy to play any song you want on a guitar using uh, a thing called a capo, <laughs> right here. Uh, you just play it, put it on different frets of the guitar, and that makes it higher or lower, which makes it really easy to play in different keys compared to a piano, where you'd have to completely change the shapes of your fingers. If you just learn like four different shapes, uh, you're good and you can play a bunch of songs in different keys. Okay, then you need to become, uh, yeah, become familiar. Because of that, you need to learn all the different shapes. That was the point of that point. Now you need to become familiar with strumming patterns because if you don't have good strumming patterns, patterns, then your whole song won't sound cohesive and it will just sound really bad. Then uh, another great way to learn, according to Eric Ringstead of Uber. Uh, ubercord.com in an article published July 20th, 2016. If you play along with the original track of a song or use a metronome, like a, that little thing, it makes you on beat, which is really good. And then that's what you want. And then the song, one of the really most popular songs using the 1 5 6 4 chord progression is She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5. Oh, I messed up. I guess. And then the F chord, which takes forever, so just practice that. Okay, that's She Will Be Loved. Pretty simple. You can play literally thousands of popular songs just with those four chords right there in those shapes and just move the capo around. Boom. You've just learned a bunch of chords to play around. Or a bunch of songs. So, in conclusion, you've been taught how to properly teach yourself the acoustic guitar. Now, when you're long, longing to express yourself through music, you can do it through the beautiful sound of a guitar, regardless of your age. Finally, imagine you're out camping. The s'mores have been served and the meaningful conversations have begun. Unfortunately, you start running out of things to say. Then you grab your guitar. Immediately, people start requesting their favorite songs, and underneath the dark sky, you all bond through the powerful beauty of music. The night has been saved, and it's all thanks to you and your guitar. Thank you. I will not show everybody. Nobody left. Okay, last one. Okay. All right.